Welcome to the Massey Ferguson 1800 and 2800 series emission systems training. When you've completed this training, you'll be able to explain the regeneration process, its importance, and how to perform automatic and park regenerations. After viewing this video, you'll be able to explain the process AGCO uses to reduce diesel emissions on compact tractors. Diesel engines are subject to governmental regulations regarding engine emissions. The compact tractors listed here have an engine emission system requiring a diesel particulate filter, or DPF. Regulations are not as stringent for engines under 25 horsepower and DPFs are not required on those tractors. This training will walk you through how the emission system works and what involvement is required from the operator. To avoid unnecessary downtime, it's important that all operators, and not just the owner, know how the emission system works and what the indicators mean. The diesel emission systems we use on compact tractors passes exhaust through an exhaust gas recirculation valve, EGR, a diesel oxidation catalyst, DOC, and a diesel particulate filter, DPF. The system works like this. Air enters the system through the air cleaner, moves through the intercooler and onto the cylinder, where it is mixed with fuel and combustion occurs. Some of the exhaust then moves to the EGR. The EGR system takes that part of the exhaust and reroutes it back into the engine. The exhaust mixes with the intake air and is recombusted to reduce the total amount of nitrogen oxides emitted by the engine. The exhaust not routed through the EGR moves to the DOC. This is a honeycomb-shaped ceramic filter covered in precious metals. As exhaust gas passes through the DOC, it is turned into carbon dioxide and water. This is important for the next step because vapor present in the diesel particulate filter will interfere with its ability to collect particulate matter, what is commonly known as soot. Finally, the exhaust enters the DPF, another porous ceramic filter that is designed to trap soot inside its channels, but let the exhaust gas escape. The emission system will need to regenerate the DPF as it nears capacity. This will occur at least once every 50 hours. There are three requirements for a DPF regeneration. The DPF must contain a minimum specified amount of particulate matter, the engine must be at a minimum specified load, and the engine has to be at operating temperature. There are two types of regenerations that can occur. The first is an automatic regeneration. Automatic regeneration can be performed without interrupting operation of the tractor if the requirements are met for DPF regeneration. If automatic regeneration is not performed, the diesel particulate filter will continue to approach capacity. For this reason, a parked regeneration is now required to avoid damage to the engine. For a parked regeneration, Tractor operation needs to come to a halt to protect the engine. The tractor should be parked and allowed to run at high idle for approximately 30 minutes until the diesel particulate filter is cleaned. Parked regeneration is an avoidable situation if the operator acknowledges the automatic regeneration indicators when they are displayed on the dash. In certain environments like a stall barn or orchard setting, Neither automatic nor park regeneration is advised. Dry hay or low-hanging leaves may be in the presence of hot exhaust gas. For this reason, there is a cushion of time built into the system to allow the operator to finish their work and get to an open area to start automatic regeneration. Please refer to your operator's manual for more information. Although the emission system works the same on all of our compact tractors, the operator interface is laid out a little differently between the E-Series and M-Series. We'll cover both, showing the sequence of indicators that appear for each of the types of regeneration.
Remember, to avoid unnecessary downtime, it is important that all operators, not just the owner, know how the emission system works and what the indicators mean.